The forest is a harsh environment, fit only for the most adept of hunters. Not only does one have to bear the unforgiving environment and its inhabitants, they must also deal with bandits. No hunter can be prepared for anything, but Rhubarb was always up to the challenge. Before her hunt, she set up her makeshift tent, a small campfire, and pulled out her homemade Lord Farron wall calendar. The original calendars are incredibly rare, but that didn't stop Rhubarb from making her own. Wink, wink. She admired her calendar for a while, then put it away and set out to hunt for the day. After about six hours of hunting, she finally returned, pulling her game behind her. However, upon seeing her camp, Rhubarb's eyes went wide. Her camp was in ruins. The tent was disheveled, her rations had been eaten, and... Where is it? She stammered. She searched the wreckage frantically. Was it taken? Where is it? After what seemed like forever, she finally found it, her precious calendar. Unfortunately, it was torn up and seemingly chewed on. The pictures were scattered and torn and covered in dirt. No! Rhubarb screamed. What monster could have done this? Who comes upon a camp, eats their food, and destroys their collector's items? Bandits? Skrit? Her eyes narrow and shift from side to side. Unicorns? She looked around her camp and spotted some tracks leading in and trailing out. They were too large to be from a horse, so that ruled out unicorns. There weren't any claw marks, so it wasn't a bear. There was no time to waste. She couldn't let this horrible crime go unpunished. Rhubarb followed the tracks until they finally led her to the harsh grounds of Divinity's Reach, where no prince could remain. However, she had the mental image of those tracks burned in her mind and wouldn't stop until she found whatever they belonged to. I have to find an animal large enough to fit those tracks in a city filled with people and horses. How hard could it be? Well, Divinity's Reach is a large place, but there aren't often huge monsters just walking the streets. It took a long time, but she finally found her mark. A large yak was staring intensely at a table of pies as if trying to decide whether it wanted to eat them or simply destroy them. Just like my calendar, Rhubarb blurted out. She stomped towards the yak. This had to be it, the monster that destroyed her camp and her one-of-a-kind Lord Farron calendar. It even still had some of the pictures stuck to its hooves. She reached the yak and pointed hard at it. You! Monster! You're the one who destroyed my camp! What do you have to say for yourself, you beast? The yak stared at her, wide-eyed, and kept flicking its eyes between her and the pies. How could you still be hungry after you ate all my food and an entire limited edition Lord Farron calendar? It took small steps closer to the pies. No, you're going to answer for your crimes. The yak shook and pieces of the calendar fell out of its fur. It picked up a piece of picture with the top half of Lord Farron's body and held it out to her with its mouth. Rhubarb took it and narrowed her eyes. Mm, this is a start, but you'll have to do better. The yak trotted off and returned with a few large sheets of paper it clearly couldn't have paid for, so she quickly tucked them away. Rhubarb pieced together her cutout of Lord Farron in his red underwear and showed it to the yak. This is what you took from me. You need to get it back. The yak simply tilted its head, confused. Frustrated, Rhubarb pointed to a rack of clothing and back at the picture repeatedly. Something must have clicked in the yak's head because it got very excited, knowing exactly what to do. The yak snatched the picture from her and trotted off as if holding some triumphant prize. Adventurers! Mr. Sprinkle has gotten himself into another pickle and he needs your help. Mr. Sprinkle wants to get Rhubarb a pair of Lord Farron's red underwear. But since that would be impossible, he'll just have them made. He'll need at least five pieces of cloth. Mr. Sprinkle doesn't have a mailbox, but Kit sure does. I'm sure she'll know what to do with them.